anti-Christ and transhumanism. Why do I believe that? Genesis 6 and Genesis parts of where and even in Enoch going back to that time. What were they doing other than mating with not just the women but everything that walked across the face of the earth, the giants and, and the nephilim. That they were teaching humans things they should have known. These fallen ones. Technologies that we should have never been taught that was not okay by God. It was full on rebellion in every aspect. Every aspect. Even today, what I said that mixing iron, mixing with the clay, robot genetics now, and technology, all that mixing with humans. And so, this being, when it says that that this future world leader is going to have abilities that open, lock, open the eye, make the blind, see, do all this crazy stuff, I believe is going to be full on iron with clay. That's going to make it more, it's going to be science. It's almost going to be like a movie, but it's not going to be a movie. Pray about this, but other people are talking about this. Guy I watched Timothy Alberino talks about this. He believes, and I'm starting to see that I do. I really do believe whoever this Antichrist being, I'll just say sentient being, as in more human than human, not just human, but to full on in the scriptures, iron mixing with the clay, it's going to be more than human. It's going to be like some kind of human robot genetic being. Um, having basically like in those Marvel movies godlike powers this ain't gonna be no joke and so this is why I don't believe a lot of the church is ready for what really you'll to come just be ready pray and be grounded in the Holy Spirit and God and you will be ready that's all I gotta say God bless amen fire and ice Godspeed